What's going on guys? Kudo Guys Factor here and today, tonight actually, it's um, 2 in the morning, I'm actually going to record this late night commentary and the late night commentary is going to be about, you know, just what's on my mind, just any random thing on my mind, but um, tomorrow I'm going to uh, help my dad set up his classroom, my dad's a school teacher now, and um, and hopefully I can get a part-time job or some sort over there and, uh, you know, kind of... Be kind of become an IT guy or something, and um, if not, I could try my best to actually do some work studies. But um, you know, just kind of like just just just, just, a, just a simple job, you know, and um, that that pays pretty decent too. But um, <laughs> I guess uh, just I just want a job really, kind of. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be going up there tomorrow, helping him out and um, helping him out set up the network and stuff like that and um, also set up the computers all the computers and stuff plugins wire management stuff like that which brings me to my next topic which i actually fixed my wire management a lot and uh, i'll probably need to bring up a new setup video because i just moved my setup again and i'm just a simple guy who likes change you know some of the time and i like to change so um <laughs> I guess you guys could look up for a new setup video sometime soon, but um, that's uh, that's some of the things that is on my mind. I'm kind of looking forward to uh, tomorrow. My, I think school starts Monday, I believe, five days from now. I believe that's Monday, yeah. So it starts five days from now, and I'm kind of excited. At the same time, I'm not, but because you know I don't know anybody here, but you know of course I'm gonna be meeting people. I'm gonna be meeting new people. Meet new people is always good for me, and. Um, I am extremely thirsty right now, but what I really wanted to talk about tonight, what, what was really on my mind, was better, bettering myself in my audio and my videos. Um, and what I mean by that is uh, bettering myself in my video quality. Now, about maybe a month ago, um, one individual made a comment on my video, which is constructive criticism, which you know I, I really like, so I can know what, what I need to do better or something for my um, for my content, and. One of the things that he said was the thumbnail. Look at your thumbnail and um, and build more thumbnails in your videos. So what I did was um, I started building more thumbnails and putting them on my videos. I'm still experimenting with them with uh, Photoshop. I'm still experimenting with my thumbnails and whatnot, and um, you know, putting it on my videos. <laughs> and so another two things that no one has really told me um, was experiment with my audio like a lot more I mean one person has told me about my audio um, back when I was using my uh, USB microphone which still works really good but that particular video was a bunch of stuff going on so <laughs> it sounded really terrible but the USB microphone was really good too anyway but I was gonna upgrade sooner or later to an XLR microphone anyway but what I mean by better quality and sound was um, you know Messing, messing with my messing with my audio interface and my also my audacity settings and you know messing with a bunch of stuff with those for my audio and I want to have some clean crisp audio you know the kind of audio that you hear on ESPN radio that kind of audio you hear on Fox News radio you know just kind of audios you hear on radios and podcasts and stuff you know I want to kind of I want nice I mean I, I, not kind of I want really clean crisp quality so I'm gonna be experimenting with that. Um, with these videos, I mean, of course, if the audio is bad, then I'm not, I'm gonna either private the video and delete it, or not upload it at all. But I'm gonna be experimenting with those and um, and seeing how great I can how great I can get my audio. Now for my video, um, I'm gonna be doing more research on my videos, like on videos in general, you know, like 60 frames per second and stuff like that, because I'm, I, I've been my last video that I recorded was in 60 frames per second and. Um, kind of just realized now how important that was really so um <laughs> i'm gonna be experimenting with more with those along with um color saturation and stuff like that just for really clean quality videos because i remember back when i had my hd pvr my hotbox hd pvr i messed with the settings a little bit on my pvr um mostly because there's only maybe i think six maybe eight setting six to eight settings somewhere around there and um you know, they were just like bars of messing with the saturation and stuff like that. And whatever looked good, I went with. And back then, I was using Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker, to actually edit my videos, which works really good too. But if you want to, you know, do some really advanced editing, I suggest you get a program for it, uh, either Sony Vegas or um, Adobe Premiere Pro. 
and um, and you know edited that way, edited that way for some you know better quality videos. But I'm going to be experimenting with uh, Sony Vegas, um, Sony Vegas software, Sony Vegas pictures, Sony Vegas a lot of things for my videos and. Of course, some of the videos are going to be experimental until I can actually get it. And how how would you know if you I, I, when I actually get it? When you see consistent videos with similar quality <laughs> or great, great, great quality, pretty much. That's when you're going to see the difference, of course. And and I really want to just increase my quality by a lot. My video quality, my audio quality, I, and I have the equipment for the audio quality, and I also have the equipment for my video quality. And I really want to increase it by a lot. I, I really want to have it have really good video quality, really good audio quality, have it both audio and video run smooth and and just kind of sound professional. I kind of sound professional. I want to sound professional. And, you know, I want people to take, be able to take me serious. Um, mostly because some my channel is mm, more more based around advice, giving people advice on just my life experiences or someone else's life experiences and um who's told me and i can feel for them you know give them advice videos kind of like be in their form kind of you know if, if they're feeling down go to my channel and you know feel happy again of course i mean um i've told you guys this before i suffer from bipolar disorder and um i found a way i found ways to actually you know get past and and live and learn from my experiences that I had with bipolar disorder. And bipolar disorder is not an easy thing to actually go through. Actually, even if your friend's going through there, bipolar disorder, you just have random episodes of being depressed. And it's always be there for your friend. And don't make it seem like, you know, he's annoying you when he's coming to you for a problem. Usually bipolar disorder, it varies upon people, of course. But um, using my bipolar disorder, it just comes randomly and <clears throat> it comes randomly and i like sometimes i just feel the need to vent about just some past stuff you know but um i find a way to get through it and i'm always usually happy i mean of course i sound monotone in my sound commentaries only because quite frankly i want people to take me serious really like i don't want people to take me as a joke mostly because it's giving advice giving advice you just have to be a little serious I and mean, of course you joke around a little bit i try to joke around a little bit but you know I want people to take me serious in order to, you know, have a serious, serious feeling inside of them that, hey, you know what? Life is worth living. Life is a gift. Life is one of the best gifts anybody has. And uh, that's the truth. Life is the best gift anybody can have. But this is my, then my commentary. I'm going to increase my video quality.